today I have a very special car heading to the McLaren Elva XP. I've got Sean here, he's going to talk us a bit about it, and Sean, introduce yourself. Hello everybody, my name's Sean and I'm lucky enough to be the chaperone of this wonderful McLaren Elva this year at Sydney Concourse. Alright, so let's um, give everyone a bit of history about the XP before we delve into the Elva. So, McLaren is particularly known for, for reusing, let's say, its, its experimental prototype cars. So, all of the XP cars, you'll see Elva XP on the, uh, on the headrest there. Um, there was, to my knowledge, five XP Elvas. So the first four were all left-hand drive for you know, Germany and USA markets. Um, I think two of those were crashed as well, but I'm not 100% sure. But this one, luckily enough, if you come and have a look, we've got XP number five, which is documented here. So this is the fifth McLaren Elva to ever exist, and it is the only right-hand drive XP in the world. So with all of that in mind, I, I, I believe that's why that is pretty nice. That's why it was dragged onto Sydney Concourse this year, and we're very, very lucky to be here. And mark me if I'm wrong, XP is experimental. Yeah, so experimental think of this cars. as the pre-production cars. So whenever McLaren needs to uh, develop a new car, let's say, they will have to put into production, you know, three, four, five um, experimental cars to to get the homo homologation through, to get yeah. to get all the compliances in place. Um, they are very often crash test cars, as I, as, as I said, I think yeah. two of them already crashed, and luckily the, the three that do survive, they McLaren will contact their you know long-term owners and ask if they want to re-engineer the XP cars for personal ownership. And um, so the, the chassis itself, it's pretty similar to the other big boy McLaren. Yes, it? yeah, so the McLaren 720 was a, was a genius car for McLaren, so the McLaren 720S, the, the basic architecture of that car is shared between 720S, 765LT, Elva, P1 and Senna. Obviously they're, they're all variations on a theme, but it's all that generation of, of, of carbon tub. Now yeah. this is obviously 720 with no windscreen, with no windscreen. <laughs> which is part of the fun. So we now have 700 plus horsepower and no windscreen, so every time you get on the throttle, it's yeah. like you hit the hyperspace button. It's just a, an abuse on the sensors. <laughs> and what would one of these set you back? Uh, mate, honestly, I'm not sure. I, uh, I'm, I'm lucky enough to do a little bit of work for the owner, but I think that's because I never asked what the cars cost. <laughs> I, I genuinely wouldn't be able to tell so you. So we don't know the price. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but John, give us a bit of understanding um, what this car comes with because it doesn't have a windscreen. It so does, it does. So, so, this is, so this is part of the front of the Elva. It's all part of the, all part of the appeal. So if we come through the wonderful, if we come through the wonderful uh, battling doors here, for no windscreen, you obviously need some kind of protection. So McLaren are kind enough to supply with the car ballistic sunglasses. Now there's one of these in the driver's side and one of these in the passenger side. And they are they almost and these aren't an optional extra, you don't have to pay more for these. Uh, I would like to think not, <laughs> but yeah. I'm, I'm happy to be wrong. <laughs> yeah. I've been wrong many times before and I'm happy to be wrong again, but I would assume that these come with the car. So these are ballistic protection glasses. They're metal framed. I don't know if they'll stop a bullet, but that is to somebody that works in the construction and ballistics world, you might be able to tell me what that rating means, but I unfortunately don't know. We also have the, the outline of the McLaren over here, which is a wonderful piece of detail. So, if I just leave that back in the drawer, for the time being, I can also show the car comes with two helmets. We only have room for one, unfortunately. That's the rain cover for the car. Obviously, if we get caught in the rain, it's a serious issue. So this is the helmet that comes with the car, and they recommend this for you know 110 plus kilometer an hour driving. It's well packaged, this one. Look at that. I'm very conscious of dropping all of this. Yeah, you don't want to drop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So this is the McLaren, the Elvis specific helmet that it comes with. Absolutely gorgeous, and it's yeah. got the McLaren Elva on it. Yeah, yeah. The so McLaren detail comes with the hands posts as well. You know what, just wear that instead of the glasses when you're driving. I've seen a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of videos from Monterey Car Week and Pebble Beach and a lot of guys just roll into the events with these on. So I'll just drop this on the other side. But yeah, I hope that's um I hope that's you know paints some of the picture of what an Elva XP is. You'll also notice that we've got the Elva XP plaque here as well. You'll um you remember before I showed you that it was Chassis number five. Chassis XP number five, zero, yep. zero, zero, five. XP five. So 
it's a very special piece of history this car. Uh, and as, it I really said, is. as I said earlier, it is the only right-hand drive XP car to ever, uh, sorry, only right-hand drive Elva to ever exist. It's, it is genuinely a one of one. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Sean, thank you so much no, for sorry. pleasure, mate, to Absolute showing pleasure. us through this beautiful, gorgeous-looking car. Um, I'll have to show you some more next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so guys, I hope that helped. Uh, I'll take some videos of it and show